today we're going to be painting in the program called Tate Paint. It is part of Tate Kids. So type in the URL at the bottom of the screen in a web browser. You can access it on a computer or a mobile device. Both should be able to get you to the program. Go ahead and tap the green button to log in and let's create. Once it has loaded in, you want to choose a white canvas to work on today. And I'm going to navigate over to the tool that looks like a diamond shape silver tool with a little bit of paint on top. And I'm going to use that to add the texture for the feathers of my peacock. I am going to use the cool colors, so I'm going to use some blues, some greens, and some purples for creating the feathers. Now I'm just kind of starting in the center and drawing a nice thick line, one that goes to the top of the paper and then one that goes to either side. I am now switching over to the green color, still sticking with that same tool, and I'm going to fill in the spaces. Now I'm just doing a third of each space with the green so that way I have space left for the purple. Sometimes the purple looks a little magenta and that's okay, it still counts as purple, so let's use it. I am going to fill in these spaces over here, making sure to cover up my paper as much as possible with my paint. That's looking good. Let's get this last spot over here in the corner. I'm going to try to fix that green space a little bit, kind of put too much pink there. That looks better. I am now going to switch to the paintbrush, the flat paintbrush or the one that looks like a rectangle. And I'm going to get that darker blue. The darker blue is the blue that I'm going to use to make a tall curved shape for the body of the peacock. And I'm going to fill that in with that texture. This tool is nice because it kind of gives it a nice, soft, bumpy texture, almost like feathers of a bird. On top of that shape, I'm going to draw a circle for the head. And again, I'm going to paint it in with that tool using the same color. I am going to switch to the chisel tip marker. This is the larger of the two markers. And I'm going to select the color orange. I am going to draw an upside down triangle for the beak of the peacock. Now to make the eyes, I actually have to use the eraser. I'm going to get the skinny eraser and I'm going to erase two white circles. And then I'm going to erase the insides of those two white circles. Uh, take your time. Make sure you do two that are about the same size. Since there is no white paint, we are using the eraser instead to create the white part of the eyes. Once you are done erasing the white for the eyes, we are going to go back into the tools and we are going to find again that chisel tip marker. Select the color black and color in the inside of the eye black. Now for fun, I could add eyelashes or eyebrows, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to go back to the eraser for just a minute and erase a little tiny dot for a light reflection. I am now going to switch to the smaller marker. This one is going to be used for creating those fun curly feathers that stick off of the top of the peacock's head. So I just draw a curved line and put a little circle on the end of it. I'm going to try to do about three going to one side and then three going to the other side. Again, you are welcome to take your time, add extra details, be creative with it, go back, add more things to your art. It is your picture. You are the artist. Go back and make it your own. Once you are done, click the green check on the right hand side and then go ahead and click the green check again. Once it has processed, you are finished. Go ahead and click the download button, download a copy of it, or if you're on an iPad, save it to your camera roll or a smart device, save it to your photos. And then from there you can upload and share on Artsonia.